Hello and welcome back to the next video. Um, I want to apologize for not having more videos this week. Um, I swamped myself a bit with uh, stuff. I now have a dedicated server, uh, game server that I have to uh, manage and um, uh, two role playing groups which just, um, yeah, preparation consumes a lot of time right now. Um, nevertheless, I worked on a uh, new project this week. <clears throat> um, from the title you can already see, I um, have um, taken the next step in Animal Features and I started designing a wing, um, a happy wing, because I got a... a commission you could say I'm, I'm doing uh, something for a friend and it's gonna be a harpy um yeah um by the time that i record this um video i already have rigged the uh, wing and also found out how i can um copy the wing um, so I don't have to um, draw the bump maps two times, but instead I just can do it once. Um, yeah, at the start, what you saw while I rented and went on about my week, um, I did the um, base muffle thing on the wing. <clears throat> so um, I spent um, a good amount of time this week uh, looking at um, RP pictures and looking at bird wings and um, checking how um, the wings are built, how this works, how they look, how the bones in the uh, wing are, um, so uh, wh where they are in the, when they are in the in the wing, um, what kind of feathers there are, and stuff like that. Um, I even um, asked my boss at work and then showed him basically a. A, a picture of what I did at that point because he is um, he knows a lot about birds so I just asked him which was uh, kind of interesting and cool um, yeah so I started with the muffle portion basically what the uh, bird can control and move and right now I'm working on the feathers um, <coughs> yeah um, as you can see, I'm using a little of uh, a little bit of uh, dissociation to make cuts in the actual feather, um, the same way you found in um, um, this is the same you found in normal feathers. Like um, when you ruffle them, there's um, little spaces between the single strands. Um, yeah, I fingered it, and then I. Um, Um, welded the uh, sides so the um, feathers actually uh, thin on the on the outside and uh, thicker on the inside. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm work. Um, you you see the video in five times the speed that I worked with, so I um, needed about ninety minutes for the um, for the wing. And oh, I think another two hours for the rigging. <clears throat> um, I had a plan how I wanted to rig the uh, wing before, um, but um, f since the whole model is really, really detailed, it took a lot of um, computing power, so I, my computer really started lagging when I started working on the uh, on the uh, feather uh, on the wing on the rigging on the uh, bump maps no not the bump maps on the uh, weight maps yes but um, as of now I have a, a completely movable wing 
So right now, uh, as you have seen, I copied um, the the uh, feather two times, and I'm doing separate uh, texture maps, uh, texture uh, yeah, textures for each, um, because I want to have the option to have um, feathers with different colors. <coughs> So um, right now, I'm each each feather has two um, textures: one for the centerpiece and one for the um, one for the for the actual uh, feather. And as you can see, I've worked with um, blue, pink, and white. Um, basically, um, because I can easily um, differentiate between those colors. Um, so it's easier for me to see which is which, where does it go, um, if I just use all white or all uh, uh, any other, uh, if I use three shades of blue this is uh, kind of frustrating. Um, yeah. So um, right now I'm um, just um, placing the feathers. And uh, as you will see, I have um, m I work with multiple layers of uh, feathers here. The um, yeah, I have the the, the main um, <clears throat> basically those feathers that that give the bird flight and um, or the harpy uh, flight and uh, maneuverability. And then there's uh, I, I put uh, a few more rows on it uh, simply because I um, wanted to cover up the um, where where the uh, feather sticks in the uh, muscle. <coughs> yeah, but uh, it's not really that. Uh, it's not really that complex, it's more about the um, level of detail or the number of um, single objects in the in the uh, file because every feather is basically two objects and there's a ton where there, there, there's have a, a big number of feathers. Um, I actually I didn't count them. So I have no idea how many there are, um, but yeah, judging from how my uh, computer uh, had to 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 work on on um, putting on the weight maps later on, um, which I won't show you actually. Um, yeah, this is. Uh, also, the model has or, uh, almost a hundred uh, megabyte, um, which is a kind of a lot for a model, at least for my models. Yeah. Um, I had to uh, switch in between the feathers. I had to make sure that everything works, um, that everything uh, sticks uh, where it should. And right now I'm working on the next level of feathers. So I just took three feathers, copied them over, um, made a group from the feathers I already have, the big ones. Um, I called the smaller ones plume. Uh, I, I don't really know what a plume is. Um, I know it's related to feathers and wings somehow, but um, yeah, uh, it's basically just for me to work with. Um, as you can see, I, I, I put new um, textures on, on, on the smaller feathers. Uh, for one, so I can um, uh, uh, differentiate better. In the optics uh, where what kind of feather is and they are basically really just there to cover up the uh, um, 
or whatever the word is, um, the, the feather things, so they uh, actually meet with the uh, muscle, so with the, with the flesh, with the uh, with the wing. The thing you eat when you eat chicken nuggets, you know, chicken wings, whatever. <coughs> And I hope I don't uh, uh, make anyone now go to uh, Chick Fil A and uh, get some wings um, because that would be uh, I don't know really weird uh, after after seeing me make a harpy you go to uh, that would be weird right I don't know um, yeah so um uh, at that point i th i thought okay wait um what's with the back side because at the big feathers i only needed one uh side actually uh and now i noticed okay i need a back side so i'm uh basically just uh ah right no i'm i'm working on the uh, next level here um again uh, i called them pico Maybe because piccolo means small in, uh, I think, Italian, I'm not sure. <clears throat> yeah, it was just like, okay, I'm, I'm calling them a name so I uh, can, can see what I'm doing. Um, yeah, I uh, copy-pasted the plume and put it on the back, so, um, yeah, I, I'm cheating a bit here. Oh, why? What's me? Oh, cheating! I'm copy pasting and rearranging the parts because it's faster than just um, uh, putting them all on again. So um, this is basically the last row. Um, actually, many uh, birds have, have three rows of feathers. I think, or I, I saw uh, at least in most pictures, they have they are depicted with three rows of feathers. So I might be uh, onto something here. Um, yeah, um, the only thing that is still missing is that you now you would see the uh, the, the flesh of the bird in the wing, so um, obviously, I took uh, care of that too. In a bit. Uh, yeah, I left a few breaks in between because I, um, I had a I had a free day. I had like um, uh, like like a like a, a holiday here in in Germany and um, yeah, I I basically I I did I used the day to. Um, make those wings. <coughs> so yeah, um, I could have made the video two days ago, but um, I was just too lazy. I'm sorry. Um, yeah. Uh, as you can see, I, d I didn't do the, the the smallest feathers on the back side because I just uh, rearranged the um, the middle feathers to uh, cover most of this. And now I'm making those things invisible. Um, yeah, in between I just switched and made the um, the texture map for the. Uh, uh, for the mother thing, for the for the flesh, and I decided to just work with uh, one uh, feather here to cover this up. And as you can see, we're almost done with the with the uh, model anyway. Um, <clears throat> as I told you before, I'm not showing you the um, the rigging mostly because. Um, it was so laggy on my computer that I decided, okay, I'm not going to record that. This is um, 
yeah, I, I don't want my I don't want my my computer to crash, so I uh, decided to um, just um, work it without recording, which was probably a good idea. Um, took me quite some time to to um, rig the wings, and actually the bones in the wing are not uh, the uh, natural bones of the bird, um, but I rigged it in a way that it looks okay when I move it and I can't move it much without um, bigger contortions and um, yeah uh, but yeah it still it works <clears throat> yeah we're almost done um, I didn't do much after covering up the uh, the wing uh, the the muscle and uh, in the model later on in the, in the picture uh, at the end, I used the same color for everything, including the muscles, so you don't really see it anymore. Um, so yeah, I, I made a first render with um, both wings attached. Um, the actual harpy isn't done yet. There's still two pieces, two clothing pieces uh, I, I have to do, or I want to do, and um, actual bird. Uh, feet. I want to give the person actual bird feet, and I'm pretty sure I have to rig those too. But we'll see. I will definitely make them uh, on a smaller scale, on a smaller, uh, not scale, but um, with less uh, details, with less uh, single objects. So yeah, that's it for the uh, wing. Um, I hope you liked the video. I hope you liked my rambling and the explanation. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for joining in. And um, yeah, I hope to see you all again in good health sometime. Um, thanks for watching and goodbye.